G'day and welcome back to another episode of Really. Today we're looking at men's fashion, specifically high-end men's fashion. Even more specifically, Gucci. Now what the fuck is this shit? I don't know if anyone is actually buying Gucci brands, you know, it seems to be popular amongst the hip hop community, at least they buy like very selective Gucci sweaters. Because I was looking at some of the shit they have, and it is, how do I put this? Fucking horrible, okay, there's no other way to put this. Look at this, oversized cotton shorts. What, so just, the sh just them, there's those things? $1,400, okay, to go with the shirt, which is also $1,250. This is made from cotton, okay? This isn't gold or silk or, I don't know, woven together with waves of pussy juice. It's cotton. It is insane. I mean, that's, I mean, it's just hideous. It's just, there's no other way to describe it other than hideous. That is a generic white or blue shirt. That's $900. You know what Gucci's doing? Okay, climate change, whatever you want, caused by overpopulation. So if people buy Gucci clothes, they will think they're cool, yet in reality, will never be fucked again. Therefore, ensuring, you know, a massive reduction of the human race and the survival of the species. So that is, I think that must be what Gucci's going for because you're not getting fucked in this. No woman is ever going to take you seriously when you're wearing anything sold by Gucci. These things here, they look like something you'd find in Goodwill. I'm sure you can, except instead of $2, it's $1,350. That is what you expect to pay. So a Gucci hoodie, $1,500. Now, what is this meant to be? I mean, I'm all for cross-dresses, but if you're gonna cross-dress at least wear something nice, like a cocktail dress, or not this. Definitely not this. Okay, and a pair of jeans will set you back 1100 See, jeans are, well, for regular human beings, are some of the more expensive items of clothing. Like, a good pair of jeans will cost more than a good shirt, or even like a, a decent hoodie. Yet here, the jeans cost $1,100, Oh, look, that shirt's only $550. That, what a bargain. What a bargain. But $1,100 re retrospectively, obviously that's like $1,000 too much, but retrospectively isn't that much. So if you want to pick up a bargain, you know, buy a pair of Gucci jeans for $1,100. So their clothing is absolute utter trash. Um, what else do they have? Men's. Men's. Belt bags? Like bum bags and the such. All right, what would you pay for one of these? $40 maybe? Let's see. Oh, like $960, of course. And it is made from an incredibly rare leather found only in the Isle of Man. Crafted from a microfiber fabric. So it's basically just, just it's a fake fabric. It's not even a natural synthetic, it's just plastic. So plastic bag, Coles, 15 cents, Gucci, $950, okay. What else do we have? What about some watches? Get a nice Gucci watch, can we do that? Wallets, watches. So, okay, first of all, design, horrible, absolutely dreadful. Uh, what do we, okay, let's let's be serious now. I, I mean, $1,000, is that fair? That's what a pair of jeans cost. Let's have a look. $2,500, wow. Is that real gold? I hope it is. For $2,500, I mean, we know it's not real gold. Yellow gold PVD case. PVD, I'm guessing, means like this, the coating, so it'll just wear off after a week or so. I'm pretty sure that's right. I'll just check that out. PVD gold. Physical vapor deposition 
is a vacuum coating process that produces brilliant decorative and functional finish. So essentially, yeah, it's just, it's stainless steel with a very, very, very fine layer of gold on top, which will wear out very quickly. Is PV durable? Yes, it's a super hard coating. That is by far the most durable coating available today. The, the coating may be hard, but gold simply isn't. Gold's not hard, it's incredibly soft. Not to mention, this is coming from pvdcoating.net. See, when you're Googling something, you have to really look at the URL of the website that you're Googling. For instance, if you want to like, you know, like I was did some earlier episodes on drugs. I wanted to look up the effects of drugs. And I type in like weed or mushrooms or like magic mushrooms. And I'll be reading all these negative effects. And then I look at the website and it's like drugfreeworld.org. It's just a website dedicated to spouting myths about drugs. And you see, this is the problem is when you spout lies, like I think a large amount of people who, you know, back in the day got addicted to heroin, they were like, weed will ruin your fucking life and heroin will ruin your fucking life. And then people smoke weed because, you know, it's fun and whatnot. And so kids smoke weed and they're like, oh, actually, this is just like a mild high and makes food taste better, makes things more funny. This is kind of cool. Hey, if they lie to me about that, well, they're saying the same shit about heroin, and then we try some of that. Oh, yeah, that actually does fuck your life up. My bad, just don't lie to people. Just don't lie, okay? It's pretty fucking simple. So, the difference between gold PVD coating and gold plating. Here we go. This could this seems legitimate. So it turns out PVD coating is a better option than just gold plating but it's still nowhere near as good as actual, like even nine carat gold. So it's still like you're getting a cheap and shitty product which you're paying thousands of dollars for. $2,565 to be precise. Are they all the same? Oh no, that's only 1,500 bucks for some stainless steel. Oh, 1,600. So essentially, probably there's probably about a gram of gold in that. For the gram of gold, you're paying the luxury of $1,100 per gram of gold, which is, you know, a terrible idea. What, what are one of these watches? 2400 bucks. So you could go on to like, um, like Vincero G, 150 bucks, get an awesome looking watch that's not just full of shit. What other shit? I mean, I'm not even going to get started on women's clothing. That's just a whole other bag in itself, which I'm not prepared to get into. Um, shoes. What are some Gucci slippers? Now what? Some a good pair of like wool slippers. You know, maybe like fifty bucks. Oh no, these are women's slippers sold to men. Okay. See something like this. Twelve hundred dollars. Wow. I mean, Gucci. Stop trying to pussify the entire male race. Stop that shit. As you know, it's even more ridiculous than this men's shit. Kid shit. Okay, buying a four-year-old, how much is this jacket? Buying a four-year-old, a $500 jacket that will last them a week. Maybe. Here's the thing. Here's what Gucci is to me. And I don't hate the Gucci brand. I hate the fact that enough people are dumb enough to buy this stuff that it exists. That's what i that's what makes me mad about it. Not that they're selling shit, because what Gucci is, is it's a tax on dumb rich people. It's a dumb rich person tax. That's what it is. So I don't hate the brand itself for doing that. You should tax dumb rich people. You know, it, it, it helps the economy. But the fact that there's enough dumb rich people to justify all these dumbass brands... That's the bit that annoys me. I'm sure I could go on all day, but I won't. I'll stop there. Um, buy quality stuff, okay? Quality, you know, I've learned, especially over the last couple of years, you really get your money's worth when you buy quality, like jeans, shirts, whatever, but not quality branded stuff. Like suits, I don't know if these people even sell suits, but you can get a full tailored suit from a proper professional, you know, tailor in your city for a thousand fifteen hundred bucks for a good suit or you could buy a gucci suit 
Although they don't even actually sell suits, they sell the jackets, you have to buy each of them separately. But you could buy a Gucci jacket which will fit you like shit. They look fucking terrible. I mean, that's a straight up... I mean, he can't look any more like a woman without taking hormone therapy. And if he wants to, that's cool. But what are you doing, Gucci? Anyway, $4,000 just for the jacket or a tailor-made jacket by a professional craftsman who has dedicated his life to making jackets about 1500 bucks with the pants. Stop it. Stop this shit. Give your money to charity or just flush it down the toilet. It'll be put to better use than buying Gucci clothes.